How is it going, everybody? We are back with another booster box opening. I told you we'd be back with more videos. I just didn't say what kind they would be. Because you're thinking, Team Light Crusade, those guys did a lot of Vanguard battles. Well, we all moved away from each other, so that's going to be a little bit more difficult. So there may have been some, some battles this month. I don't fucking know. But we do have a box of the newest current set. While there is one coming out in a few months, um... Triumphant Return of the Brave Heroes is the newest current booster set. Uh, it does come with, uh, you could get a Majesty Lord Blaster, Phantom Blaster Overlord, Dragonic Overlord the End. Uh, here's the side of the box. It's just got the logo. Here's the front of the box. Barcode. Seven cards per pack, of course. 16, uh, I think we're guaranteed an SP, I believe. Who knows? I don't. I don't know the actual... The actual pull rates of these boxes, but we will see. I'm sure it's the same exact thing as the Monasterio Lyrical Booster, but who fucking knows. And uh, one thing I'm really looking to pull out of these boxes is um, Thagria, Thagria, the big titty Blaster Dark daughter. Because canonically, she is Blaster Dark and... Uh, Jewel Knight Ashley's kid, and I just A, I find that funny as shit. Um, B, tits. Tits. So, I thought we could actually get that box done right, but no, no, fuck me, I guess. Here is the same exact overdressed topper that was in the first one. Let me set that over there. And we do have what looks to be different pack arts for each pack, so that's cool. We've got whoever the fuck that is. Uh, Dragonic Overlord at the end. Majesty Lord. Him again. I'm presuming there's also a PBD or a PBO. Yep, there it is. So PBO. And those are the only four. Okay. So let's start with a Dragonic Overlord at the end pack. Now, I wouldn't mind pulling Dragonic Overlord the end, especially, like, any of the, like, image rare or CES, the 10th anniversary ones that have, like, the characters on them. But we've got Stealth Dragon Haunted Arasu, Amazement Magician, Nine-Tailed Fox Tamuria, Gigantic Beater, Mood, uh, Steam Ripper, Reaper Nania, uh, Quagmire... And we've already got a triple rare, which is for one's for one's precious thing, Aurora. So that's pretty cool. Already got a triple rare out of the first pack. We take those. Um, and my sleeves are backwards, aren't they? Yep, there we go. So that's pretty cool. Um, sorry, I do sound sick because seasons are changing in Texas, and I hate it. But here is his skill: Soul Blast One, call. Three plant tokens to the rear guard. They gain 5k and a crit and have the boost ability. When this unit is attacked, retire one of your tokens and this unit gains plus five until the end of that battle. Oh, one or more. Oh, 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 that's even better. Okay. <laughs> and now I'm going to choose one from the bottom, which is also just happens to be a uh, Dragonic Overlord pack. Really hoping we're not getting top-heavy boxes like last time. We've got su Successor of the Variable Star, Orgus Lion, Thagria, Thagria, Thagria. It's going over there regardless. Uh, in Indicate Arrow Dragon, Nine-Tailed Fox Spirit Tamora, the Grade 2 for his ride line, so that's pretty cool. And... Is that a hollow rare or double rare? That is a double rare heal trigger for Dragon Empire. So that's pretty cool. I will be back. And next pack. I will actually shuffle these this time. Unlike last time when it looked like I just, you know, whatever the fuck. It, it looked like I just stacked the shit out of those lyrical packs, and I do apologize. I also love that these packs are opening a lot better than normal. Thagria, Wild Brave Shooter, Ava. We will set her aside, too, for no reason at all. Oh. Oh, that's cool. Another triple rare. God damn it, Brayden. Um, this is a Brandgate 
Dark State's uh, hybrid card. So it can be used in either deck. And uh, in the Brant Gate, when this unit is placed, Counter Blast 1, Soul Blast 1, choose an opponent's rear guard in the same grade as this card. Soul Blast for cost and retire it. Do you Soul Blast twice? Okay. Um, and then Kelios, which I guess is a Vanguard in... Yeah. Dark State's Vanguard. Uh, when your unit attacks, if your soul has eight or more cards with different names, stand it. If you stood this unit, put this unit into the soul at the end of the turn. That's not bad either. Um, but I don't know how he works with anything else. So, because um, the only thing I have with Overdress right now is uh, the Trial decks and then Forisha. Formisha? Formisha? The Mimish card that I pulled in the last box opening. We've got Wingo Brave. Eva again. We've got Thagria again. All right, we take those. Uh, Rumbling Sheer Dragon. Heavy Mechanized or Heavy Armored Panzer. Fleeting Shine that lights life. Uh, this is a Tamora card. Counter Blast 1 or Soul Blast 2. Choose a Vanguard. It gains uh, all of your opponent's vanguards or front row units gain minus 10,000. And then there we fucking go. This is what we like to see. I really wish this was at the end of the packs, though. Because it really looks like I so I fucking just stacked the box. But we do have one of the two Thagrias that we use in the deck. Uh, this The normal ride from the hand of the unit with Thagria is different from this card. So, retire two grade two or less rear guards. Choose one opponent's rear guard, retire it. If you have the light version of this card in your soul, all of your opponent's rear guards are retired in the same column as the chosen unit. At the end of the battle, this unit attacked. If this unit was placed by riding over the light, counterblast one, uh, discard a card and stand it with minus one drive. So, that's fucking nice. So, let's continue. Because why the hell not? Heavy Armored Panzer, a Vigrius, Successor of the Variable Star, Evacuation Dragon, Organius Lion, ah, the Grade 2 Tamora, and Majesty Lord Blaster. Okay, okay, Brayden, I promise I'm not. You've watched me touch these packs. You watched me open this box. But it looks like I'm just stacking shit. And I'm sorry, but yeah, I'm sure Majesty Lord is the exact fucking same. Yeah, put a Blaster Blade from the rear guard into the soul. Choose an opponent's rear guard, retire it. If you have Blaster Blade and Blaster Dark, it gains plus 2,000 and a crit. Uh, then put a Blaster Dark from the rear guard in the soul, and it gains a drive check. So, yeah, pretty much the same thing. Um, I don't know what that means for pack ratios anymore, so... I'm sure we still have a shit ton of uh, double rares. And I think one more triple rare because this isn't considered a triple rare. It is a 10th anniversary card. Hold on. It's a 10th anniversary triple rare. So I don't know if that counts towards the normal triple rare pack ratio, but we will see. We've got Amazement Magician, Gigantic Beater, Ample Scatter Angel, Wildfire Brave Shooter. Just dropped a few of those cards. Steam Reaper Kanala. And a double rare Steam Maiden Barney, which, if you guys are paying attention to the Japanese overdress community, uh, Chrono Jet Dragon did just get an overdress trial deck revealed, or stride deck, or however they're, they're I think it's going to be named differently than the start decks and the trial decks, because you can stride, and Chrono Jet's effect is literally, word for word, the exact fucking same as it was in G, so we'll take those. Uh, we've got Requiem Ness. Uh, Wingall Brave, Tyranite Flesh, Plant, uh, Energy Refill Angel, Eva Grade 2, and a Hollow Rare Divine Sister Saint Honor. So I'm presuming this is the new Battle Sister. Um, just, just, just fucking throwing that out there. That's probably the new Battle Sister. There's the Grade 1 Ava, Grade 1 Thagria, 
in Ignite Blow Dragon. Dimensional Robo, Suppression Robo, I'm sorry. Uh, grade 0, Ava. Motive, Stealth Rogue, Sugi Mugi. And a double rare, life-saving Angel Degreal. From the back row, when the unit in the same column as this stood, return this unit to your hand. So, that's pretty cool. Don't know of what effect that does in the actual game, but we will see. Dude, all of these packs are opening nice, and I love that. Uh, we've got Rumbling Sheer Dragon, Awakening from Slumber Aurora, Kind Light Dragon, Blind Youth Aurora, so we now have the whole ride line for Aurora, uh, Rancor Spear Trooper, Grade 2 Thagria, and a Blazing Horn Dragon. So, two 10th Anniversary Triple Rares in this box. We take the fuck out of those. So I believe Blazing Horn is also pretty much the same thing. Um, yeah, almost the exact same fucking card. Um, so we will move on to the next one. We didn't even take a look at when this unit attacks counter or soul blast one reveal a normal unit and draw a card. So cool, I guess. Uh, we've got her in common. Aid nine V, Camelos. Ah. Ask and ye shall receive, I guess. Holy shit. All right. Uh, during your turn, when your soul has Dragonic Overlord, this card's drive cannot decrease from its effect. Uh, and it gains plus 5k. At the end of the battle, this unit attacked. Counterblast 1, drop 2, stand it. And you, you keep the drive check. So, okay. Um, We take those. Uh, the rest of the pack is Battle Siren Shuzette, Aiding Monster Tekon, and Amazement Magician as a Hollow Rare. So, so far, um, my box luck for Overdress has been fucking insane, uh, if I do say so myself. But, you know, who's to judge other than y'all? Leave a comment. We've got Talos. Tamoria, Kaios again, but this is the grade one version. Marco, ah, Glint Breath Dragon. Okay, we just skipped the rare there. Knight of Spirit, Frida, and Performate Burner Dragon. This is a double rare. When this unit is discarded during your battle phase, put it into your soul. Choose a unit and gains plus 5k. That's pretty cool. I don't know of many Dragon Empire decks that regularly drop from uh, hand. So, you know, use it at your own will, I guess. But we'll see. We've got Ample Scatter Angel, Tear Knight, Sir Repel, Indicate Arrow Dragon, Knight of Fearlessness, Requies, Ready Quiz, um, Another grade three. Okay. Uh, Stepping Calyx Salvia. And this is the Keter Sanctuary Brant Gate deck. Uh, when this unit attacks, if your order zone has a set order, this gains plus 5,000 until the end of the battle. If it has three or more, it gains plus 10,000 instead of plus 5,000. Then, if it's in the Brant Gate deck and you have Eva as your vanguard, uh, when this unit is placed by rear guard ability or to a rear guard by the ability... <sighs> and you have three or more research cards in your order zone, this unit gains plus one critical. Then it also gains intercept of plus 10,000, just for being there. Okay. So I'm sure there's not going to be any more, because that was our SP. I don't know if that counts towards, like, the actual SP count, but I doubt there are any more, like, baller-ass pulls this, or this box, but they've all been baller-ass pulls. Um, we've got Ample Scatter Angel again. Tier Knight, Sir Repel, Indicate Arrow Dragon, another Salvia, Fleeting Shine that lights life, and Evacuation Dra or Excavation Dragon, Barrio Dignel, Barrio Dignel, I don't know. Uh, when this, put this in your soul, uh, choose a rear guard against plus 5,000. So, obviously. Uh, Tachikaze. I had to think for a minute to remember what that fucking deck was called. 
leave me alone. We've got Knight of Fearlessness, another Wingo Brave, another Ava, another Thagria, Rumbling Sheer Dragon, Ay! Bravery to stand against, Will to pierce through, Counterblast 1 if you have a Vanguard with Blaster and its card name, search your deck for a Grade 2 Blaster, reveal it and put it in your hand. And then we've got the Dark State Heal Trigger. Um, when this unit is placed on the Guardian Circle, if the, opponent, if the opposing player has attacked two times, this unit gains an extra 15,000 shield. That's kind of nice. Wow, I really wish I wasn't getting sick. I hate this. So, two packs left, and we are, of course, going to save the PBO uh, pack for last. So, I believe we are now... I think all that's left, if we pull anything, are going to be hollow rares. Because there's no way we're getting another fucking SP or anything. So we've got Kind of Light Dragon, Knight of Animosity Camlos, Rancer Spear, Rewara, I lied, there's a grade two, uh, Clumsy Assistant, and Prohibited Sight Witch, Arunas. Uh, when this unit is retired by the effect of a Vanguard with Blaster in its card name. During your turn, Soul Blast 2 when your opponent... Choose an opponent's rear guard and retire it. So, a pretty good. Pretty good. And lastly, we do have one Phantom Blaster Overlord pack to just round it all off. Um, going into this last pack, there I, I literally cannot expect anything else because... <sighs> but we'll see. We've got Rora, Barry Undingel, uh, Avergius... Hadan Resu, Hadan Resu, uh, Obling Monster Secondel, Blaster Dark, there we go, he's a regular rare, and a hollow rare, uh, Quagmire of Solace Kalos. So, all in all, an amazing fucking box, if I do say so myself, like, I could not have complained, I can't, I can't complain about the shit that I pulled, but... To give you, there are some people, like me sometimes, that just skip to the end to look for the pulls. So here you are. We've got a Hollow Rare, Grade 2 Quagmire of Solace Chaos, Amazement Magician, and Divine Sister Saint Honor. For our double rares, we've got Prohibited Sight Witch Arunas, In Incorruptible Holy Light, Holy Light Ephra. Uh, oh, this is a Hollow Rare, I apologize. This is a Bagriel, Bagriel Deal. Um... Preferit Burner Dragon, Life Saving Angel Digriel, and Steam Maiden Barney, and Stealth Fiend Amavari, Amavera. Uh, we've got for the triple rares Knight of Blackness Askadude, the one who blooms in the dark Digria, Cool Headed Executor Mikani, and for one's precious things Rora. For our 10th anniversary triple rares and SP, we've got Burning Horn Dragon, Majesty Lord Blaster, and Dragonic Overlord The End as our 10th anniversary SP, which is one of the ones that I wanted the most. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to smash the like button. Check out all of our other unwatchable videos on this channel because I didn't know what audio mixing was six years ago when I made this channel. But, with all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching, and we will see you guys in the next time. Peace, peace.